That's it. That's the fall. That's it. That's a typical evening in the southern Israeli city of Zderot, about three kilometers from Gaza. Hamas rockets are still being shot at the neighborhoods. This town of about 30,000 people is home to many Olim, new immigrants in Hebrew, who in the past weeks of war between Hamas and Israel, along with other residents, had to evacuate their homes. 70 Ethiopian Jews left the local absorption center, where the Israeli government offers temporary living quarters for new immigrants, for a hotel in Jerusalem. Masaf and Mukato Baralo from the Ethiopian city of Gonda recalled the October 7 Hamas attack. We are used to the booms of the rockets and are not concerned about it. We just enter the bomb shelter in the building. But this time, these were terrorists on the street, under our home. They were armed and wearing camouflage. And some people got hurt because they thought they were Israeli police or soldiers. They went out to them and got killed. Masar Shayerdo said she is grateful for support the evacuated immigrants receive in Jerusalem, but being away from home for a long time and uncertainty as of when they will be able to go back to normal life is difficult. You are waking up in the morning and you have nothing to do. It's hard. For the kids at least, a solution was found. They wake up in the morning and go to study. She and other immigrants shared their concerns with the government. They said it will go on for many months. Something needs to be done. We need to be able to work. Avichai Kahana, the director general of the Ministry of Aliyah and Integration, is busy these days with arrangements to make sure the evacuated immigrants continue to receive essential services, as well as Hebrew studies and psychological help. The new Olim are probably more confused than anyone because they have uh, language uh, difficulties and they have uh, the, the and they didn't have the time to understand, you know, what is uh, as alarm as aka in Hebrew or uh, what is pikuda oref, the the defense forces that need uh, that need to help them. Kahana said Israel is also dealing with a new wave of immigrants from Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. We have to understand that uh, only in the past uh, year. Uh, we have in Israel more than 100,000 uh, immigrants, New Orleans, that came from Russia or Ukraine that uh, evacuated because of the war uh, over there. And they uh, sometimes they are traumatic uh, uh, from, from, from the situation that they had in Russia or in Ukraine. And now they have uh, the same situation here in Israel. Despite the war, officials say new immigrants continue to arrive in Israel. So it's more complicated to secure uh, air tickets. Uh, but whenever we can, we continue with the Aliyah flights. Just last week, there was a special arrival of a few dozen of Olim from France, for example, on, on a direct flight from France. The week before, there was an arrival of a few dozen Olim from the United States. This is not the first emergency situation that we've uh, gone through, although it is an exceptional an exceptional emergency. We've never experienced such an assault, such a massive massacre of civilians. Having said that, yes, we have procedures for emergency because unfortunately Hamas has been firing rockets on Israeli civilians for years and years and years now. The Israeli government is preparing its citizens for the possibility of a long conflict. Meanwhile, staff say many immigrants want support, but also to volunteer to help in this time of war. Natasha Mosgovai, VOA News, Jerusalem.